This week, West Des Moines City Council approved guidelines for how businesses in historic Valley Junction should look, laying out approved styles for new builds or remodels. So our very own Local 5's Khalil Maycock has kind of explored this area and talked to businesses and city planners about the guidelines. And you join us now from Valley Junction this morning. Good morning, Khalil. What did you learn? Good morning, Jackie. And one business owner says the guidelines are a good idea. Now, the idea for those coming after the city of West Des Moines and the Valley Junction Foundation got complaints of how these newer buildings look compared to how this building, which is an older one and other ones on the street are looking. Inside of Mo Mayor, you can catch Meredith Wells tidying up products or wrapping goods for a customer to take home. Her shop is inside of a brick so building and located near standard. others that look the same. The look is now part of a new guideline from the city of West Des Moines on how new builds or remodels could look. It's been something that we've wanted for a long time, um, for years down here, but it just has never come to fruition. Steve Fervert with the Historic Valley Junction Foundation says talks of guidelines became huge after new construction started. They received complaints about design, materials used, and how it doesn't fit the historic feel. So the foundation, along with the city of West Des Moines, sent out surveys to residents asking what they preferred. Now, hundreds of people returned responses with brick received high ratings. More modern builds received low ratings. And the city listened to the public and included those in the design guidelines, along with this. It tells people how tall a building can be. A building can be no taller than one story above uh, the adjacent buildings, uh, they'll have a certain amount of storefront glass, uh, a regular appearance, um, uh, high quality materials. And the city of West Des Moines says the new guidelines help preserve a piece of history. We have something really nice down here. Valley Junction is one of our crown jewels in our crown here in uh, the city, and we want to make sure that it continues to sparkle. And Wall says though there are new guidelines, businesses can still be unique in how they want to look because the guide gives multiple choices for you to choose from still allows them to have some creativity um, to add that character that we're known for down here, but still in a way that um, is cohesive. And the city says these guidelines are a part of a master plan, and that master plan includes looking at areas by Railroad Avenue to see what they can add over there. And they said that should be finalized by the fall of this year. So it sounds like they're wanting this area to continue to grow and expand, but they want to make sure it, it has a certain aesthetic and, and looks a certain way. And it sounds like the current businesses there are all behind what this is all about. Definitely. So they want to you know, expand, but also keep the integrity of what made this area so special. Absolutely. Which is why we say the historic Valley Junction, but also one of my favorite places to shop. Thank you for highlighting this morning, Khalil.